Well, we tend to think of markets as working well with uh, competition and people being more efficient, but uh, nuclear power plants are very large, very long lead items, and government vendors can do two things. They can have the patience to invest in what is a, basically a 100-year asset. They can also invest in capacity to build these nuclear power plants and make that part of their national industrial strategy. When they're building nuclear power plants for someone else, they can bring to bear all of that local, vertically integrated national industry. They can also use those nuclear power plant sales to make geopolitical goals and do things in a way that a commercial company simply wouldn't be able to, like take risks, uh, commit to project deliveries and costs that would be very risky for a private company. Well, Saudi Arabia does export a lot of energy, it's oil, and they also burn a lot of that oil inside the country to make electricity and fresh water for people. And every barrel of oil they burn, they give up a lot of export revenue, especially when oil prices are high. So right away there's a reason to limit that use internally by building something like nuclear power that doesn't use oil to make electricity and maybe fresh water. More importantly, if you extrapolate out to somewhere in the 2030s, maybe 2040, um, they will be using more oil to make electricity and water than they have to export. And so their whole economy is built on exporting oil. If that ends, the whole economy is in trouble. So they're doing a very big crash program to build nuclear and renewables to displace oil as a source of electricity and water uh, desal.